Well, the Drug Enforcement Administration wants everyone to have a safe and safe and healthy holiday season, but they also want to remind us all about a very important thing, and that's securing your meds during holiday gatherings. Here with us, is, of course, is Carlos Briano from the DEA, the Public Information Officer. Uh, Carlos, talk to us a little bit about what does that exactly mean, securing your medications? What do you guys look for? So, unfortunately, a lot of people keep their medications very accessible to mm. the public, uh, typically in a bathroom medicine cabinet. And we're talking about big holiday gatherings, right? Mm -hmm. When you know, the family's over, you maybe got some little kids that can sure. rummage around, mm -hmm. and that's something you guys see a lot around the holidays, yeah. huh? When we talk to the uh, the poisoning centers across the country, mm. they get about a million calls wow. from children getting their hands on into the wrong thing, including medications. Nice. But I'm also talking about maybe we have a family member or a friend that's struggling with a substance mm. use okay. uh, substance use disorder and may go rummaging through your medicine cabinet right. to grab a pill or two, especially if you have a prescription uh, opioid, and those are very strong. Oh, absolutely. Let's talk about some ways you can secure your medication. Uh, locks or boxes, what do you guys recommend? Yeah, they sell lock boxes, lock bags for as little as $20 okay. in the most convenience stores, uh, retail shops. Go and look for one that's the most recommended mm -hmm. but if you can't do that at least keep them out of sight yeah okay. secure them somewhere where they're not easily accessible to the public as well at we a garage shed something like that not maybe not necessarily that but not in a bathroom that everyone's going to use that right. they could just open it right away okay. maybe in your bedroom Great. you know and if you have a desk that locks that's probably better let's go back to talking about that poisoning center and all those mm -hmm. calls that they get this time of year you already mentioned opioids you know those mm -hmm. powerful powerful drugs for painkillers right. What else do you guys see? What are the drugs that are most showing up uh, on those poison control centers call logs when they, you know, when they call in this holiday season? I can't speak for them, uh, okay. but we know that they get about a million calls a wow. year. Uh, but what I can tell you is that according to SAMHSA, Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, a lot of people who struggle with substance use disorder started with a medication mm. that they misused and that they got from a relative or a friend wow. from their medicine cabinet. So we want to make sure if you are using one, Get rid of it, keep it out of sight. If you have one that's outdated, uh, it's expired, you no longer need. Remember, DEA takes those and destroys them. So go to DEATakeback.com, put in your zip code, and you can go drop those off today. All right, Carlos, thank you very of much. Course. We'll be right back after this.